Hello, welcome back to Endless Mode. I'm Captain Emoji. I'm Mysterious Gamer X. I am Bunchor the Bard. How's it going? And we're back with Tales of Berseria, trying to find our dumbass brother. Trying to wade through the cutscene. Hey, hey guys, I have a question. Well, if, you, if you guys are endless mode, why do you bother to split up your episode? Shouldn't it just be like one 64-hour sprint through this game? Man, I got work tomorrow. Same. <laughs> Well, I mean, maybe this mode isn't that endless, that's all I'm saying. Well, I mean, hopefully our content stream will be endless if we if we do it right. Um, but no, like, we were we were trying to elicit something of a... Well, I mean, endless mode is usually the casual play mode. It's, it's usually what you do when you've beaten the game or made it to a certain checkpoint, and it's like, here, now you can just sort of, like, chew on scenery and wander around and look at stuff and... Do all of the stuff without getting punched by, like, monsters every three feet. I remember the moon turning Man. red. <coughs> I have a channel that have to name it New Game Plus, because that's when you play the game for real. See, I'm just, I'm, I'm a filthy casual, I guess. I, I like, I like creative mode on Minecraft. Not to say that I don't play survival. I, I liked it when you... You survival is the only reason Minecraft's a game. Um, I like Animal Crossing. I like... Uh, oh, I liked it when you found the bird wings on Pilot 64. Pilot wings? The, the like, plane racing game? There was a set of bird wings you could find under a, a rock if you flew into them. And it unlocked a set of bird wings, and the play mode was just, hey, now you can just fly around and look at the castles and see the scenery. The bird didn't have fuel or throttle or anything. You could just sort of flap around and do stuff. First person cutscene. Takes all types. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm not saying that my way is the one true path by any means. It's just how I tend to engage with most games. I like stories and exploring and, uh, yeah, it's fun. Without telling me, what if something happened to you? You wouldn't be the only one hurt. Do you understand that? What would happen if something happened to you? It'd be like I'd have a tragic backstory. If you want to do something, just ask. I know I'm a crummy big sister, and I can't afford to buy you all the things you want. No, he's which is really he's ten. That's literally everything. Well, yeah, but I mean, she'd only have to do it for two years. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I there's no medieval Make-A-Wish Foundation or anything. He really got a raw okay. deal. I really feel like there ought to be like a giant 12 year advent, like you were saying, the 12 year calendar. It'd be a big advent calendar. Every birthday, it ought to open up and give you, like, you know, I don't know, local magistrate for a day type powers and stuff. Are you sure? One free trip to Disney World. Yeah, you know, this year it's a trip to medieval Disney World. Uh, and, you know, yes, next year it's a, it's a boat ride to Good. some to far case, corner of the world. And... <laughs> On the other hand, I guess there is some kind of medicine no, plot device. You know, I could just fight all these guys all at once instead of having to... Instead of each one of the pig things on the map representing a fight. Yeah. Um, Not bad. that's part of the reason that Isaac started running past them, and why he ended up, like, a dozen or two dozen levels lower than he was supposed to be. It makes the end game super fun. <laughs> <laughs> right, super fun. Well, if I'm gonna grind mods, I'm not gonna do it on boars. That's fair. Literally grinding on We're gonna kind start of grinding, we should at least wait until we all have a controller. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair, you don't want to out-level us. But then it'll be you and a bunch of scrubs. I mean, sure, there's that. <laughs> so we're going with our little brother to the hell pit to gather foul flowers. This is not going to go wrong in any way. Together what? Falafels. Flowers. Flowers. Go jump off that cliff. <laughs> I mean, maybe a little nudge. This place never changes, does it? Yes, war. when you were here, you said war never the changes. The seasons, the wind, the weather. Uh, there's Change six less shiny rocks. Different. Yeah. Well, they true. might respawn. Across the sea, 
Let's not check. Across the sea. But they're shiny. They're bronze and silver trinkets. What you're talking about. <laughs> and some herbs. We need herbs. It's a Japanese hey, game. Man. This is such Thank a small, idyllic town. I'm sure nothing bad will ever happen here. I know, Lafacette. It's good to know that we live in an era and time of peace and prosperity. Look at those birds. Hey, They're Lafayette. circling. I'm sure that's a good omen. Do you know why it is that birds fly? Well, why do birds fly? If they didn't, they couldn't catch food. Or escape from predators. Thought so. Birds fly because no one told them they couldn't. But you know... <laughs> I think there's more to it than that. A bird that's born with wings has to... Uh, or, you know, if you want to get meta about it, it's to designate the skybox. Yeah. Oh, well, time to go home. Hey, he looks familiar. Run! No matter how much it hurts, run! Zovic! Don't be scared. You can do it. Floating back that way is boars, and he probably ate all of those. No, you so, can't. yeah, run. Not, you know, he's not much bigger than the boars were. Is it one of the only things that makes an exorcist an exorcist is being able to see demons? I don't know. Uh, I forget the word they use, but you have uh, basically a higher concentration of essence. Right, which is what allows you to see the Malachim and demons. Malachim, yeah. that's the word that Lafayette used. That ended about normal. And, yeah, she can see them, so how can she not? I'm guessing maybe he was saying something to the effect of you'll be no good at it. Like, you have the bare minimum requirement, and you'll just get hurt. Yeah. No, having enough essence to see demons isn't the requirement. Like... God it's sort it. of a prerequisite. <laughs> oh, oh, there's that comb. It's Super gonna break. tragic backstory. It's gonna break. It's you know, use a healing gel and get up. It's true. You have a full like, stock of my guys, Come on. I'm guessing you got saved again. Yeah. Hooray! Arthur, the one-armed swordsman. I have been wondering about that. What's under Demon Eye 2? No. Oh. Uh, this is going to be really lame, but uh, he just hurt his arm and now it doesn't work. Oh. Yeah, okay. you're right. That was lame. How did I get home? I was, I was hoping it was going to be like Guts from Berserk and there was like a... No, there's no like climactic scene late in the game where it's like, We have you now, Arthur. And it was like, Nah! It's I'll let you know. Fault. I'm not left-handed. If you weren't there, there's no I was, I was hoping for something like Trigun, where it turned into a big, just, F-off beam cannon or something. Like that sweet vintage Princess Bride joke? Your old one broke, <laughs> right? You've got beautiful hair. Oh, it was hair. beautiful. It would be a waste if you didn't take care of it. What does he you have like beautiful that? hair in a medieval society. It'd be a shame if you didn't take care of it. I'll make a new world. A world where my... See Velvet try to... There, I'm not right-handed. This thing's got like five straps. <laughs> well, I mean, later it's going to be a demon hand. I don't even think the gauntlet thing would fit. It would if she used a hilt like a normal person. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's, only a demon hand it's a magical... Sometimes. It's a magical artifact. I mean, What's you can't that? not use a magical What's artifact. A Those are way cooler than normal weapons. No, it wasn't! Neat. Lots Got a system. comb. See, and you're not home. <clears throat> what chicanery is happening? Oh, oh, that's, that's why you have that item. You're gonna comb the forest for him. Oh! Yeah. Round two! This one doesn't have armor. Uh, those look like they might have been villagers a minute ago. Oh, we'll never know. Yeah, yeah, they were. I don't know, everyone seemed super chill in the town. I don't know why everyone went all werewolf on you. <laughs> now, this is because you loved your dogs too much, isn't it? Oh, oh yeah, the puppies first. That's right, love makes demons. 
Well, they said emotions make demons. They didn't necessarily specify one of the spectrum well, they had to you're be. You're a dead guy. You're a dead guy. You're dead guy. There's some more demons. No, no. Can you fight him? Do you want to fight him? Not really. Wow. Did a whole fat lot of no damage last time. Well, yeah, that was a cutscene, though. Like, I almost felt like that was supposed to happen that way. You don't have the power to hurt demons. Oh. Oh. Well, it's a good thing they're ignoring you. Apparently. I mean, mostly. Nah, there's more dead people. I think some of them are kids. <laughs> Neat. Well, I mean... Makes sense. It means it's not following the classic horror movie trope of, of indestructible children. Like, the children are either going to be dead or werewolves because they're emotional, so... Take your pick. Werewolves seem pretty cool. Don't, don't give, up. give up. Never, Never give, up. give up. Never give up. Never surrender. I just... I mean... I wonder what happened to all those boars. Okay. Eaten by werewolves. Eaten by werewolves. I don't know. It looks like they had the ability to go raw evil. I like to think that there's a, a werehog somewhere. Uh, yeah. In fact, there is. And because it's smarter, it commands the wolves. <laughs> Yeah, I, don't... I can't tell if you were supposed to fight werewolves to gain levels, or if they were just something to make you dance around them. Velvet. You. Oh, his arm isn't a sling. You can see that. You kept it off me, didn't you, Arthur? I mean, no. One more sentiment to cast off. One more sentiment to cast off. Velvet, run! Arthur. What did you trip over? I don't know. Fire. Someone cast a spell on you. Oh, it's spell it's, on you. It's an exorcism, or isn't it? It's the seal to the I think so. World broken. And tonight, fear shall be born the power ah. to save the world. Oh man, your tiny idyllic town is apparently right on top of a hell knife. Yeah. With luck. Oh man. What? What are you saying? Well, at least I didn't have to spend money on that medicine. <laughs> you know, you had two more years. You couldn't have waited two more years? No. Well, that, that seems fine with it. He does seem fine with it, I'm just saying. Yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, this is the this is the opposite of Make-A-Wish Foundation. This would be like if the Make-A-Wish Foundation's job was to hunt down sick kids. This is what's, what's, what's your wish, Lapiset? I want to save the world! Well, okay. Oh. Oh. Turns out you need to be more specific when you ask for things like that. I didn't know that the Make a Wish Foundation was like Wishmaster about it. Well, he was gonna die anyway. I, I wanna. I wanna be with my dog forever. Well, we will graft the dog to your skin. <laughs> Edward? <laughs> no! You do not talk about that. <laughs> Uh. Oh wow! That is some speed if she was able to get over there and do that. Let him What's go. your plan now, Velvet? This is an offering to the world. You know, he's yeah, still dead. I think that one through. Nothing can save him. Now. I'm just say, he's he's still, as you put it, got a case of steel poisoning. See, will not change. Ever a slave to <laughs> yeah. How dare you care about your brother? I'm gonna stab you in your hand. So you can have a useless hand like me. I'm not gonna show it though. I'm just gonna let you infer that. Mm-hmm. Lava well, catch me! <laughs> Pretty. Oh, they summoned so the, got dragon. the dragon balls. <laughs> what is your What is your wish? Oh, oh. 
and given the world, I think they're probably those evil Dragon Balls from, like, GT. So, they have, like, a This Is Sparta pit on the edge of town. I just want to point that out. That just is there all the time. Yep. No guardrails or... Signs. Wow. With bounce. Hmm. I'm pretty sure all of your bones are broken. Her, her spine's in six pieces. And it hangs. I was gonna say, I don't think you operate off the human template anymore. You're fine. Mm. <clears throat> I think you're just a mass of anger in that shape now. <laughs> So, are the werewolves not attacking him because they realize that they'll lose to him because he's a powerful exorcist, or is he in direct control? Yeah, he's not. A demon that feeds on demons. A demon that feeds on demons. Yeah, you might want to run. A ferian. His hand glows with an awesome power. <laughs> Tells me to consume you. Yeah, we're gonna have to learn that whole chant, aren't we? Well, yeah, I mean, we don't need to know it right now, but by the end of the climactic fight, I'm certain it's gonna come out. Oh, man. They had to have some extra yelling out of the controller for effect. Very nice. So when the multiplayer happens, I wonder if the other characters will talk out of the other controllers. That sounds like it would be awful. <laughs> it's a cacophony of, of anime voices coming out of our controllers. Nobody would ever hear Aizen! <coughs> Aizen ever talks about this kind of voice. I would be super happy if you could even spoke with the controller. From what you've told me, it sounds like Magali would probably talk to the player for the controller. Like, hey, we're doing pretty good. Nice combos. High fives all around. Good job. Take a look around. She would never be that. She would never be that, like, optimistic and... Yeah. yeah. It, it would be more like, what are you doing? You're screwing it up. Mm. Oh, so much for that quiche. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Poor quiche. Demon blight has spread through the village. But do not fear. Wow. Yeah, I think those werewolves weren't attacking because they knew it would happen. Notorious Colbrand. Notorious Colbrand. Um, okay. Uh, it's his Moloki. <clears throat> and his other Moloki. Uh, He's got so many Moloki. What's a, what's a Moloki? Are... The game will explain that thoroughly. Ah, uh, great. <clears throat> but when? Yeah, one between Why here and the next 36 fly? hours or so. <laughs> Behold my answer. Velvet. Arthur. I ask no forgiveness. The sin is mine to bear. Is he just bad at killing you, people, or did he have a moment of regret? Yeah, this is... This is him a moment of regret? He doesn't have those? <laughs> he doesn't have And he those. is very good at killing people. Yep. Calling it, calling it now. Your, your whole journey is to get to be to some point where you're big enough for him to kill you and release all your evil energy to counter Lafacet's darkness energy. It's like, well, the first door had to be opened by killing an innocent. You're gonna die. And I just made you into, like, a foci point of evil, and then I'm gonna kill you. You're like 40%, right? I said in the pit of <laughs> I'm more right than I should be for how little I know of this game. Yeah, eat those demons. 
so I could live. So I could live long enough to kill I mean, him. You should keep in mind, Velvet. Brother's vengeance. A goat down there for you to feed on, like Jurassic Park with the T Rex. She doesn't want to feed. She wants to hunt. <laughs> I'm just talking uh, about the fact that it's a, it's a fi sufficiently weak enough demon that you know you're going to kill and eat it every single time. Someone's keeping you alive. And keeping the torches lit. Alive, torches lit. Sarah. Someone is just making sure that you are, you know, fat enough for the slaughter later. How did you fall faster than the ladder? How do you see with no holes in the mask? Magic. I mean, that answers Just both that questions. Answers the then. first question, too. Yeah, do it. Eat her. <clears throat> Eat her and get her as an alternate costume idea, because, like, cool butterfly outfit is better than... First, there will be a test. Prison rags. It will decide or if you are the strappy outfit teaches. you wear later. Okay. <laughs> you can get new outfits. That's cool. Most of them are just DLC. Are they paid DLC? Yeah. That's fair enough. I mean, these games are expensive. People make them. I get it. And I'm pretty okay with cosmetic stuff costing money like that because, I mean, you still get the game without it. And typically, they don't sell them in the game, so you get a costume for every time you buy a That's nice. That's not terrible. I bought one. I bought one Japanese clothes. I was gonna say, these are the really pretty ones. Alright. So, what are we learning here? Uh, sidesteps. I was, about to say, really using them, but... I was about to say, it's like, oh man, it's too bad you don't have your sword. But then I realized that most of those combos wouldn't use it anyway. Why are you holding back? You noticed. Well done. Good you job. Passed. Of course. His Moloch would never be so weak as that. I am his Moloch no longer. Neat. First, let me tell you what you're doing. Oh, man. Save point first. Past, past three guy. years. You guys, you guys didn't know this was an there RPG going in, right? Oh, yeah. Land, I didn't, like, trick you into thinking it was some sort of fighting game. With the help no. Of, tell me. You know, RPGs are, like, 80% cutscene, Tell right? me where our Oh, yeah. Is. But JRPGs more so. You may find him in the capital city of Lowe's. And I, I will admit it's been a while since I've played a Tales game. <clears throat> you won't stop to listen. I can tell you what it was you saw that night. Oh, wait, is this still the same night? Nah, this is like later. three years later. Okay. That night, the ritual he performed shifted... You know, a year after your brother would have died anyway. Oh, it's true. A host of Malachim descended... Mm. I guess dying of a disease didn't count for opening the thing. Otherwise, he could have just wait, waited two years and then taken him there and watched him die. Now, no, it doesn't the, the leader of the Scarlet Knight only happen Abbey, every seven? An institution that well, enjoys we stop the talking about the events that happen later in the game and let them get to it. Sorry. A shield to guard the people and a sword against knowledge. demons. Hmm. No, they don't talk about any of that until later, I guess. Yeah, I mean, they mentioned the world. That, we, With we didn't find that out until like 29 hours into this game. I mean, they mentioned that it was Scarlet Knight, but not what importance Indeed. that was. But his power is they not said it happened every seven years and not it uh, brought the two boys together. On these. Right. Why are you doing this? But they did say it. Make a successful escape yeah. from this place, and I'll explain. Okay, could you just... Why, though? Just, we're leaving. Escape? So that's your game. Oh, uh, man. Fine. I don't care what the world thinks of me. What matters is my vengeance against Artorias. That's okay, all. well, I'll make sure you didn't have any morals before we let you out of this cage. It's important. Ooh. I have
have shattered your yoke. We must hurry. Oh, there was something magic keeping you there, too. Yeah. Yeah, she I'm literally... Sure was, she's tried to climb. She was literally going to be trapped until her time she was useful. Yep. Well, it's good that we don't have to play through too long of that. I mean, they could have made us do rounds of killing and eating stuff to prove the point of you were here for three years three long years think about how angry you'd be having your life stolen from you one day at a time I'm surprised she's years. still as sane as she is yeah all things considered she's held up rather well yeah, unless well. unless the Malik isn't even there and this is all hallucinations <laughs> like right I... now right now she's got some of those scraps from her hand made into like a makeshift sock puppet yeah we should really get out of here I really thought yeah. she should have just had like a demon with like his legs cut off in the corner like what do you think Steve <laughs> Wilson <laughs> Wilson <laughs> just kill me to stop the pain oh no oh like a like one of those wearables that she just like made into like a McNugget <laughs> just so she'd have someone to talk to ah <laughs> She goes on and on about vengeance and I tell her it's just killed me. <laughs> and cutscene. Seriously, like save point. Come on now. No one raised the alarm. I can see that. No one raised the alarm. What would you need uh, that's because they're dead. Why are they dead? Why aren't they dead? Well, I mean, they are dead. Why not? Like oh man, you're gonna get your sword gauntlet back. Rope, this will be useful. You and your Quite rope. a blade. I know that sword. Stormhouse. Oh, are we gonna get a party member? What are you doing here? Well, it's too big for me. You're not taking it? <clears throat> it's a celebrated masterpiece. And if I can't use it, it's worthless. Uh, well, Whose clothes did you steal? Also in that <laughs> box is three separate halves of outfits that you could put together to form this. like one okay, movie from okay. Stained Concert and her highly <laughs> oh, oh, specialized oh, oh. combat they, gear. No, they, okay, she found her gauntlet and somewhere in this dungeon is uh, the entirety of the group Malice Miser. <laughs> Somewhere, somewhere in a dungeon, and somewhere in this dungeon is Gak Kamui going. Man, I hope my bandmates are okay. <laughs> as he's like, as he's like punching a werewolf to death. He's already, he's already, he's he's already fashioned a new outfit completely out of werewolves, and it looks magnificent and resplendent. But he's wondering that his bandmates are, if they're okay. Somewhere in the background, as you're breaking out of this prison, you just see a Gundam fly off into the distance. <laughs> Gex Kamui has a Gundam in uh, one of the games. Extreme Gundam! It has a guitar in one of the games. <laughs> it has a beam axe. I've learned that this is a prison island. Axes and guitar, which I love. That's great. And that there are scores of demons locked away. <clears throat> and it's like, it's like the Black Rangers are that thing. Or Black Rangers. Because <clears throat> it's also a beam laser. The nice. Docks, the front and you know, I gotta admit, she's see. done quite well for having like two side. square feet of fabric to work with. <clears throat> it's true. The back it's side. true. Might not have. I would have gone with like a poncho kind of look. Yeah. Big, big strip of cloth head hold. But... I'm also kind of wondering what those <clears throat> belts on her leg are holding up. Nothing. I think they're just there. Uh, there wasn't enough of a stocking for the other leg, so she just used belts. But her other leg has less stocking. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, no, there's no stocking under those belts. She would have done belts on both legs, but she ran out of belts. <laughs> you should keep moving. <clears throat> She's got one and a half boots. <laughs> yeah. We're yeah. Gonna, we're going to run out of episode before we stop talking about her outfit. Probably. Oh, thank God. Also, also her scrunchie's a bit low. Like, I mean, it's the very end of her hair. It's pretty much the least useful place for a scrunchie like, to be. Her hair has to be so gross right now. Just <laughs> three years of dirt <laughs> and demon blood yeah. and stuff 
other things. Well, no, she's crew when no, she's in a fine. hole for three years. She managed to get her comb at some point. It would be a shame if she didn't take care of her hair. Another that was what he said. If you collect enough of them, you might be able to select. And I'm supposed to take. I like how she found some like twelve year old well shirt and then just decided Indeed. to make it work. You'll have to. Twelve year old. Put a brooch here and like shoelaces from one of the <laughs> boots. Shoelaces from, <laughs> from one of the boots she's not wearing. That's why she only has one boot. <laughs> so I picked up that soul thing because it's potentially useful, but I didn't pick up the world renowned great sword because. Because she can't use it. She didn't take the greatsword skill when she was 12. One thing you're going to know about Velvet is that she's <clears throat> contradictory. Her priorities are a bit... Skewed. All say. right. Well, that's probably a good place to stop for now. All right. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Talk to you later. <laughs>